My name's Greg Thorpe. Uh, I'm a writer and a curator. Um, I'm a graduate of the MMU Writing School and I'm the project manager for Superbia, which is the arts and culture programme at Manchester Pride. The writer I'm going to talk about today is Sarah Shulman. She's a, a Jewish, lesbian, activist, feminist, author and theatre maker. Um, she writes incredible, gritty, uh, urban novels with lesbian protagonists that are kind of sexy and witty and funny. Things like Rat Bohemia, People in Trouble, and After Dolores. Um, and her, her, the way she describes her writing is, um, I don't want to live in a world in which the majority of lesbian representations are family-oriented, celebrity-focused, or cutesy, do you? Um, her non-fiction looks at things like familial homophobia, um, Palestine, the history of queer theatre, conflict resolution, and also gentrification. And my favourite work by her is Gentrification of the Mind. And that kind of looks at the topography of gentrification, what it does to the people and, and the spirit, I guess, of a city. And she writes, the deaths of 81,000 New Yorkers from AIDS who were despised and abandoned, who did not have rights or representation, who died because of the neglect of their government and families has been ignored. The gaping hole of silence has been filled by the deaths of 2,752 people murdered by outside forces. The disallowed grief of 20 years of AIDS deaths was replaced by ritualized and institutionalized mourning of the acceptable dead. In this way, 9-11 is the gentrification of AIDS. The replacement of deaths that don't matter with deaths that do, it is the centerpiece of supremacy ideology.